Oh soya robot car for Raspberry Pi. Lesson 6, Web Camera Controlled IoT Raspberry Pi Robot Car. In this lesson, we will install a web camera and video stream server in Raspberry Pi. We will show you how to use Python 3 Flask and MJPEG Streamer software to control a Raspberry Pi robot car through internet. You will monitor the car's real-time movement through its eye. Step 1, Hardware Installation. Before this video, we have completed Obstacle Avoidance Robot Car. If you don't know how to install the Robot Car framework in this video, please follow our Lesson 1 and Lesson 3. Remove the ultrasonic sensor mount holder from servo motor and wires from ultrasonic sensor. Choose blade and package for servo motor to cross camera holder from top to bottom and fix blade with M1.5 asterisk 6 self tapping screws. Install CSI camera to holder with 4 PCSM2 push pin rivets. Install camera holder on servo motor with 1 PCM2 asterisk 4 self tapping screws. Connect CSI camera to CSI slot of Raspberry Pi with CSI cable. Please toggle down the CSI connector of the camera. Put the blue side of CSI cable facing outward, and insert the CSI cable into CSI connector of the camera. Get CSI cable across the hole of camera holder, then a Bosoyu PWM hat. Remove Osoyu PWM hat from Raspberry Pi board. Toggle CSI connector of Raspberry Pi board. Make silver contacts side of CSI cable face to silver contacts of CSI connector of Raspberry Pi board. Insert CSI cable into CSI connector of Raspberry Pi board. Insert Osoyu PWM hat on Raspberry Pi board. Check the cable for servo motor. It needs to connect to PWM15 of Osoyu PWM hat. Now web camera controlled IoT robot car has completed. Step 2. Start JPEG streamer server in your Raspberry Pi. Put the robot car on the ground and turn on it. Please make sure your car have completed all steps of basic movement project. Log in PuTTY or other remotely console. Enable camera in Raspberry Pi by typing command, sudo raspy config. Please use arrows on keyboard to position the cursor where you want to go and press enter to confirm the select. Go to configuration menu, use downward arrow on keyboard to go to interface options, then click enter to confirm the selection. Go to camera, then click enter to select camera, use left arrow to go to yes, then click enter. 
then confirm OK, use right arrow to go to finish, then click Enter to exit the window. Please reboot the Raspberry Pi according to the notice. Restart PuTTY window after the robot car power on. Type three commands to install PegStreamer software. Please type command, firstly, get http colon slash slash osoyoo.com slash driver slash pycar slash webcam.sh. And then type command, get http colon slash slash osoyoo.com slash driver slash pycar slash camstart.sh. At last type command, bash webcam.sh. When the terminal shows, do you want to continue? Please click Y then enter to continue. Run command in your Pi terminal will start your MPEG streamer server, bash camstart sh. These message as the video shows means your video server is running at port 8899 in your Pi. Now we can use your browser to test the surveillance video. In your PC or cell phone, which is the same Wi-Fi network of your Raspberry Pi, open the browser and enter http forward slash forward slash your underscore raspberry underscore pi underscore ip 8899. Click stream link, you will see the video surveillance. Step 3, Web Camera Controlled IoT Robot Car In this project, we provide Web Camera Controlled by Browser and Web Camera Controlled by Phone App. A. Web Camera Controlled by Browser Please make sure your video server is running at port 8899 in your Pi. Open a new terminal window. Run command to install the Osoyu web camera controlled robot car software. Bit http colon slash slash osoyo.com slash driver slash pycar slash osoyowebcar.sh. Then run command bash osoyowebcar.sh. Run command cd osoyowebcar to enter the folder osoyowebcar. Then type command nanowebcar.py to edit the file webcar.py. Please replace IP address in line 15 with your Raspberry Pi IP address. Then click L, Ctrl plus X, then Y to save and click Enter to exit. Then type command nano templates slash index.html to edit the file index.html. Please replace IP address in line 34 with your Raspberry Pi IP address. Then click L, Ctrl plus X, then Y to save and click Enter to exit. If you are using Python 3 in Raspberry Pi 4 slash 3A plus, run the program by typing command sudo python3 slash osoyawebcar slash webcar.py. If you are using Python 2 in Raspberry Pi 3, run the program by typing command sudo python2 slash osoyawebcar slash webcar.py. In your PC or cell phone, which is the same Wi-Fi network of your Raspberry Pi, open the browser and enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, you will see UI. The arrows buttons are direction control keys, button in the middle is the stop key. In the top of the page, there is a camera direction slider, you can move the slider in order to rotate the servo and change the camera orientation. B. Web camera controlled by phone app. Open your phone and search keywords Osoyu IoT UDP in Google Play or Apple App Store, you will find a red icon app. Download this app and then install it. Please make sure your video server is running at port 8899 in your Pi. Open a new terminal window and download the sample code by running command bit http colon slash slash osoyoo.com slash driver slash pycar slash udp camera car dot py. 
If you are using Python 3 in Raspberry Pi 4 slash 3A+, run the program by typing command python3 udp-camera-car.py. If you are using Python 2 in Raspberry Pi 3, run the program by typing command python udp-camera-car.py. Open the app, click setting icon to enter setting UI. Enter IP address to your Raspberry Pi IP address and port to 8888. Enter HTTP forward slash forward slash your underscore Raspberry underscore Pi underscore IP 8899 slash action equals stream to video target, then turn video target switch to green. Click save, then click go back icon to back control UI. Click direction keys to control robot car by manual and click middle key to stop movement. The slider upper direction keys is a camera direction slider, and you can move the slider in order to rotate the servo and change the camera orientation 